Good morning, everyone. I am discombobulated this morning. I'm like discombobulated every morning, so. Um, it is 7.57 a.m. I have a hair appointment for the first time in ages um, at 8 and I am on the road. I'm going to get there at 8.10, unfortunately. It's at 8.08, but no. <sighs> Anywho, um, I'm always late, unfortunately, again. Because I was trying to figure out what to eat, and I'm tired of, like, eating out. But I barely have food. So I ended up making, like, a grilled cheese. Um, I haven't straightened my hair in six years. That is the style I'm getting. It's a silk press. Um, I'm going to let y'all know of the stylist when I get there. Um, I'm not sure if she wants to be on camera or not, but she does, and y'all will see her. Um, I am more nervous and excited because I'm kind of, I'm not super active, but I'm active enough to where I sweat a lot. So, like, it's Wednesday, and so on Saturday, there's a whole workout that I do every Saturday, and I'm just definitely gonna, um, sweat out my hair <laughs> if that happens. Um, what else? I think that's about it, though. Um, I will see you guys when I'm streaming, or doing the whole process all right y'all i am super excited for this video so at this point she is just rinsing all of whatever product i have in my hair from the night before out the water nozzle is so cool like look at that but yeah like the water was warm um when i tell y'all i was nervous up until the shampoo because i have like bad experiences with just salon stylist overall they're either too rough or my hair is so thick like you guys can see i have kinky curly hair like my hair is more of, of a frizz ball than anything else but at the ends of my hair they're more defined in curls but at this point oh my gosh when i tell y'all i didn't get the part where she was scrubbing deep in my scalp but like the way she scrubbed was just so gentle but yet it felt so cleansing like i was really appreciative of that I definitely have to come up on here and hype up this product right here. It's called Dry and Itchy Scalp by Avalon Care Care. Y'all, when I tell you the way that this conditioning treatment felt, I was like, girl, what is that? Like, it was such a tingling sensation and I was just crazy about it. Like, it felt so good. And let alone my scalp barely feels itchy, honestly. Like, usually when I get my hair straightened, I'm like scratching my scalp a little bit, just patting, you know, so we don't mess it up. But, y'all, yeah, I just, ooh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely will be incorporating that conditioning product, maybe the shampoo and the conditioner, into my wash day regimen because it just was amazing. Um, so, we steam dried my hair. I don't remember for how long, but that was nice. I never really did that before at all. And then she blow dried my hair. When I tell y'all, the heat was not hot at all. I was like, girl, how are you doing this? Like, I was really, really surprised. Her work was just amazing. And my hair, my hair just naturally feels dry right now. I have to do a lot of hot oil treatments. But she was explaining to me that I should start using olive oil because it's really moisturizing to my hair, my hair shaft. And therefore, that can feed into my scalp as well. So now we're going into the pressing comb process. Again, y'all, she did this really fast. Like, the heat, again, it looks like a lot, but it didn't feel like anything. Like, most stylists, I can actually really feel the temperature <laughs> of the heat on my scalp. But this, I really couldn't feel. Like, I am just really, really surprised that she did what she did. And so in this clip, I couldn't get her flat ironing it, but she was flat ironing it at this point as you can see girl your hair is straight it's flat flat <laughs> <laughs> so 
she also trimmed my ends. I'm going to insert some before and afters so y'all can see. I could have trimmed my hair a little bit more. You see in some areas more towards the front. But I was really like trying to keep some length because again, I haven't seen my hair straight in six years. So she also asked me like, how do you want to wear your hair? And I'm like, girl, I don't know. <laughs> so she was like, I was thinking we could put some waves and I was like, do what you want, girl. So this was the final result and I was just so pleased. So you guys, I am home. I made it home safely. This is the final result. Um, I am in love. Um, I think I was like going crazy earlier because something was wrong with my card and I couldn't pay her. I did pay her, but I couldn't do it like when I felt like it. Holy shoot, I'm fat. Anyway, <laughs> I'm over here looking at myself. But this is the final look. Let me try and show you guys like this. What is this? Um, excuse my room. It's so messy. It's always messy until I move out and get money to get made or something. Um, can y'all see this? Ooh, look at that, girl. Hold on, how I zoom in? It's not letting me. Oh, 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 oh. Girl. Look at this. Oh, girl. Girl. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. how it's looking um all right so for the most part the experience was amazing my stylist was miss erica miss erica s she is in bellflower in california she works at tony Rollins salon and when i tell you one of the best services i've had with the silk press in a long time kill me like i love her um she gives a lot of really good recommendations. She knows her stuff. She's very educated. And um, to me, it how long did it take? My point was at eight. Got there at 18, y'all, you already know. 8.15. Um, and we finished about 12.30, 12 12.40. 12 um, she put waves in my hair because, uh, what's it called? She was asking me how I wanted it. And I didn't really know because I don't do straight hair. So I don't know, it was just, a random thing but I'm actually glad that we did it because it looks so much better than it being super straight because I feel like I have a big head and I just you know curly hair or coily kinky whatever big hair just fits me fits my face so having it wavy feels more like me um what else she used uh something called uh Avalon Care Care uh dry itchy scalp that stuff it feels so good it's like it's pepperminty or i don't even know if it's pepperminty it has a tingling sensation when i tell you it is so strong it's one of the strongest tingling sensations i've ever felt i am going to buy that for myself for wash day because it just feels so good um my scalp looks super healthy and super clean um I'm just surprised that she was able to do that because I know my hair, y'all. I know my scalp. I know it. So I was just like, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. Um, as far as the heat settings, um, she did really good with the amount of heat. Usually, like when stylists have straightened or pressed my hair, they use the highest heat setting. Like if she would have burnt my scalp, like it wouldn't have hurt so bad because it wasn't so hot and i was really surprised that she was able to get it this flat and it's not it don't hurt that bad like i was kind of confused but she again she knows her stuff um i don't know how to put it in any other words 
Um, if you're natural and you're looking to get your hair straightened, um, it really depends on the person. Uh, the final results will be when I wash my hair again, um, coming out of this style. I'm seeing if my curls are healthy and stuff. She also trimmed it. Um, I'm inserting pictures throughout the process, but um, yeah, I'm just actually surprised that it looks the way that it looks. Like, very. I am um, very pleased. I'm going to everybody's house so they can see my hair because y'all be like, I don't like getting cute and I really don't but you know girl girl <laughs> I'm so happy though follow me on Instagram I'm gonna insert my story from that day so y'all can see what it looked like um thank you so much Erica uh, everybody else if you want it just do your research on your stylist you know people who have went to her my sisters went to her my mom went to her and they both all of them really liked her so i was like all right their hair reverted perfectly and i was like all right cool so i would just advise you to do a protein treatment before you go like maybe a month before you go so that your hair is you know strong before you get it straightened and yeah um she gives me a lot of tips on how to treat my hair better uh she suggested using olive oil for my hair because my hair can be a little bit dry in like this top portion of my head but I told her I didn't like olive oil because of the smell but I'm okay with it because like all natural oils and stuff don't have a great smell so I'm not tripping but I'm willing to try it again and um, I'm just ready to get my hair to waist length now I know that this looks pretty short but I mean, obviously, if you had it straight, I should have shown you guys. I think I did. I don't know. But I should have shown you guys. It's a little bit longer. But whatever. Always in the front is shorter. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys' support. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you leave them down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.